So Rob, uh, how long you been out here in uh, Santa Barbara so far? Um, I've been out here for about a month now. It'll be a month this, uh, it's actually a month on Monday. I think so. Yeah, just been out here, I mean, it's a great place to be. It's great weather, great people. Uh, the workout environments that we have is just uh, top of the top of the line, and so it's been really good. What does a typical day look like for you? What's the schedule there? Um, our, uh, our schedule for P3, uh, we get up. Usually we work out in the morning, once in the morning. Then we get one in the afternoon, and then um, we work out at night. But uh, if you're on your, like, kind of own deal outside of that, usually I get up in the morning, we go to the beach, we do running. Uh, just to get cardio in and then we go to our workout at p3 and then we take a break and then we play basketball then we take another break then we come back and get shots up so i mean all day is basketball that's all it is no school nothing just basketball how are, how are you enjoying it here i'm really enjoying it man um for the for the most part i think uh this is something that i needed to get away you know from my situation um, I love the weather, I love the people, uh, it's a great town, uh, it's lots to do here, adventure, so I really recommend this place for anybody who wants to come here. What are some of the specific things you've been doing at P3? What have, what have they been working you, uh, you, you with? Um, mainly just uh, my body, just changing my body, being able to uh, put pressure uh, on, on my joints. You know, uh, I wasn't able to do that uh, a lot, you know, at Washington, but I've been able to strengthen my legs, strengthen my upper body. I've been able to get up and down the court. Uh, you know, this is my first day back on the court, so conditioning-wise, I'm kind of struggling, but as time goes along, I'm getting back into it every day. I'm, I'm making big progress every day. So it's, uh, it's going good. What are these next two months gonna look like for you? It's gonna be busy. It's gonna be busy every day. Uh, you know, putting 110% in every day. Um, you know, putting the, the basketball part and the off the court uh, part together and uh, being able to put the two, keep the two together and being able to, to sustain that and have a successful career. Are you, what, what is your plan as far as the combine? What are you, what are you thinking about? Are you going to fully participate and do everything there? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Uh, it's all what, uh, you know, BDA has uh, for me. So uh, whatever they decide or what they decide is best for me, then I'll be able to do that. What can you tell me about the situation at Washington? Why you decided to? Why you were kicked off the team? Um, you know, uh, immaturity. Um, you know, when the start of the year came, you know, they told me they weren't taking anything from me uh, as far as you know, slack, uh, any attitude, any bad off the court behavior, anything detrimental to the team. And you know, I I was doing really well for a long time. I got myself back together off the court, on the court, uh, became an active person in the community. I was doing so much and. You know, I just, uh, I got comfortable, you know, I got comfortable and I let them, I let myself, I let people just, oh, I let the people around me make the decisions for me. And I let people, you know, oh, Robert Upshaw, you're this big guy and, you know, you're going to be, you know, top 10 draft pick and such and such. And I, you know, I let all that get in my head and, you know, I started, you know, doing things that I shouldn't have been doing that were detrimental to the team. So. As they told me in the summer before, they were going to release me, and they, you know, they sent me home. So it was, uh, it was, it was, it was big. It was big. But you know, uh, once I got home, you know, I really reevaluated myself. I got some help uh, doing a lot of things, and uh, I just put it all into this basketball. That's all I'm doing now. That's all I'm about on the court and off the court. We haven't heard much from you since um, you left Washington. What have you been doing in, in, in the meantime? Um, you know, just been working on myself as a person. You know, there's a lot of things out there that's being said about me, and nobody knows the story. So, you know, I just I want to make sure I present myself in the best way every time I, you know, I'm around somebody as as best as I can be because the person that they're telling me I am is not the person who I am. I've had some mistakes, and I made mistakes like everybody else. Now, some of them are just dumb, and you know, like, but we all make mistakes. And at the end of the day, I've made my mistakes, and I've learned from them, and I still have the opportunity to do what I love and you know do what I dream. So it's all about just me getting better from here, and you know, uh, that's all that matters. How, how can an NBA team? have the confidence to invest a guaranteed contract in you? How, what can you do to convince them of that? All I can do is just work hard. All I can do is just be a good person off the court, be a good teammate on the court, do the things that I did at Washington, even at a higher level now that I'm here training at P3. And, uh, you know, 
I don't ex I don't expect teams to just you know hop to me or I don't expect teams just to take me. I don't expect any of that. I'm I'm going to work hard for what you know what I want and what I want is to play in the NBA. What I want is to be an NBA player who's working hard in the community. I want to be. I just want to be so many things, and I feel like if I work hard and I leave all that other stuff alone, then that'll happen. So that's what I'm going to do. You got on the court today for the first time in three months, you told us, and you did some very, very impressive things. Um, offensively, things that we really never saw from you in college. How, how, did, how did it feel out there? It felt good. Uh, it just, you know, like I said, it's getting back in shape. You know, maybe three, four games in, I was winded, and you know, but it's, it's just because, you know, I've, I've been really working on myself here, in the last three months, really working on myself mentally. You know, working on things that I need to do about better behavior. So I think, uh, at the uh, end of the day, I feel like I've gotten a lot better. Um, I think I've had the same abilities. You know, while I was in college, it was just like, you know, it's different in college versus now. Now I can, you know, try to sell myself in college, kind of, you know, a team thing. You know. As, as you would say, so uh, everything is uh, everything's been going well. If you were an NBA GM, where would you project Robert Upshaw to get drafted? Where would you be comfortable picking her up? I would be a top ten draft pick, but Robert Upshaw being Robert Upshaw, uh, just to, just to even have the chance to be in the draft that's 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 amazing for me, especially where I've been in the last three years. You know, I've made a lot of mistakes. Um, I see myself as a top draft pick, but I mean, it doesn't matter. None of this, none of this matters as if I don't work hard and put it together. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna try to get the highest pick I can. Thanks so much. That was great.